Hello and welcome to the YouTube stream. Hi. Hope you're well. Yes, exclamation point dual stream. And dual stream. What are you doing, Nightbot? Sleep on the job, buddy. You sleep on the fucking draw. Oh, no, wait, oh gosh. That could be really bad. I'm not supposed to swear in the first uh, two minutes of the stream. Ah, it's probably fine. I said it in a British accent, so it's okay, I think. Should be working though. Dual stream. This is weird. This should be working. Bot's not working. I thought it takes a little bit of time. We'll probably hit three. If you're so hyped you heard Twitch changing their policy. It's way easier for me to do YouTube streams. No Twitch, no Roku. Yeah, YouTube streams will be good, man. I'm excited to uh, to be back to them to dual streaming. I think we're gonna try it for about a month. I don't really know what to do with the extra channel if we do that because then the extra channel kind of becomes obsolete. I was actually talking to Dexter about that because he was thinking about dual streaming, but he might just not do it because um, uh, because it will kill his uh, extra channel, which is really, really good. He's going to play right now as fire. I try my best. Oh, there we go. There's Nightbot. Yeah, probably next week. Probably next week. I will go back to dual streaming. It will probably be next week. We'll start. I just need to make sure I get everything set up because uh, I don't want to get in trouble on Twitch, which is good. Yeah, Nightbot was asleep, man. Uh, but let's play some Marvel Snap. All we did was did story time over on Twitch. I'm excited to play some video games. All we did was story time. I thought I disliked story time. Story time is great. Uh, before you've asked, no, I don't have a Nico deck set up. And no, I have not played Marvel Snap in several days. You test some Nico Dark Phoenix. Phoenix Wars? Probably not. Unless I want to, then I will. What would you win lose in Vegas? I ended up being down about 150. Uh, I was up at 1.400 or 300, but I ended up down. Uh, uh, ended up down about 150, as Vegas does. Vanamine's armor. Weird. This rare Adam Warlock is better than the ultimate variant. There, I said it. Well, Daredevil variant. Can you imagine paying 5,000 tokens for for something that's worse than a 700, 700 gold variant? That, that would sure would be awkward, huh? That's not true with this one, though. Iron Arrow kind of, kind of cracked. House always wins? That it does. Indubitably. Really the armor again? Sure. Even show it. Final form. I understand how a armor, like created armor suit, would get venomized, but you know, what are you gonna do? Has the meta changed since June? Nah, pretty much the same. Just use the same decks. 
It's not like there's been uh, like pff, eight meta defining cards in the last three months. How was TwitchCon? You have to go back. I just well, I talked for like 35 minutes about TwitchCon on the other stream. I forge Apocalypse and Sif kind of go crazy hard. Okay. Uh, let's look at what we're gonna do. I kind of want the Night Forge Nico. I feel like Nico's a card I'll use a lot, and the Night Forge one looks really good. I can multi stream, X base point dual stream. Uh, There's just a lot of setup with uh, the new dual streaming. Well, not a lot, but some setup, and I haven't had any time. I prioritize getting a new chair. Uh, okay, so we're... We have quite a few caches, and we have quite a few things. I think we buy Nico with uh, tokens. Uh, I need to, and then I think we'll open caches until we get the variant. Cause like the Kitty Pride one is cool, but I'm not like freaking out over it. The, kid, the Kitty Pride one is very cool, but I already have the Kitty Bride, which is really nice. Phoenix Force one also very cool, but not like, you know, freaking out about it like crazy. And I'm not saying it's not great, but it usually when I already have a great variant, as I do for Kitty Pride. So for Kitty Pride, I already have um, Kitty Pride. I already have the Kitty Bride one, which I think is an absolutely wonderful variant. Uh, this variant is also very nice for her. So when I already have really good variants for a card, I'm not as infl inclined to be like, oh, I really want this one. Now Phoenix Force, I don't really have too many good variants for Phoenix Force outside of like the main one. The Phoenix Horse, even though I don't necessarily like the variant more than the Kitty Pride variant, I'm probably more inclined to want that one as I don't have like a good one already. That makes sense. We'll, we'll see how lucky we can get. Okay, we start with the Kitty, Kitty Pride. I will set this one as, as the favorite, I think. I mean, I think it's... I think we'll set it to the favorite. I probably do like it more than the Kitty Bride. Not by too much, though. Yeah, we'll get it animated. We have, we have some... Uh, we got some juice. Do be looking very, very nice animated. What's up with the box? Does any any lore heads in chat know what's going on? Anyone know what's going on with the uh, the lore of the box? Lore head here, no idea. What's in the box? One time she opened a box, haven't we all? Who here hasn't hasn't opened a box before? Who amongst us has not opened a box? Oh, little baby Thor with the little cat Loki. Look at that, how adorable. Very nice, nice looking kitty pride. All right, round two. Awkward. Round three. Nico, very nice. Love me the Night Forge vari variant of it. Really, really like that one. Uh, so we have one more to get this sweet Dan Hip Phoenix Force variant. Uh, if we end up getting 500 likes on the stream, I will open it. If not, we won't. It'll be very simple. Exclamation point dual stream. 
You're wondering why I'm not dual streaming. What's up, Alex? Just jump like 50 likes. Hey, Amen. So your hands, not mine. We get to 500 likes by the end of the stream. Uh, I will open the Phoenix Force Daniel hip. Uh, let's start looking at a friggin' deck to put him in. I do kind of want to try Thanos. Uh, I think Thanos is the one I'm most... Most interested in trying her in. Thanos and Lockjaw. Oh, well, most Thanos decks do want Lockjaw, but let's want to do a destroy version with Angel. I want to do like destroy Thanos, right? Which also should have Lockjaw, I think. Is there another deck for Nico than Thanos? Of course there is. You can put her in anything. Sorry that you want me to cater towards your collection. Unfortunately, that's not how the that's not how this works. Okay, we'll get Lockjaw on here. Let's add some destroy stuff. Big destroy -y things. All probably fits the build pretty well, right? How many good null variants, man? Galactus? Uh, if we're doing the Lockjaw stuff, we don't really need Galactus. Death. Chavez. Yeah, let's do the uh, let's do the OG Ryan variant. So we want to add into here now uh, to be fair angel probably shouldn't be in the deck just to just to be very clear the support ryan yeah it's sad i, I saw this stuff about her people being a-holes you ever just put white tiger in a lockjaw deck now because they eat power uh we probably do just put elsa in because she should be in just about every deck right Pretty hard to cut her from just about everything right now. Angel and Chavez anti synergy? Nah. They both deck thin. Redundancy. Ryan, Ryan Gonzalez. She's uh, an artist. On Twitter, she just posted a bunch of. 
hate bullshit she got over like the Shang-Chi variant that was in the voting. And people being very mean to her. Okay, let's just put in the normal. We just put in the normal really good um Ah, uh, do we even put Blue Marvel in? Why don't we put Blue Marvel in? I really don't know how to do Thanos decks anymore. We probably can't have Carnage and Lockjaw, right? Then, like, do you even, like, add any of this destroy stuff? Maybe just do more a traditional, traditional Lockjaw style deck. I, I just, I don't know, like, the destroy stuff just doesn't seem good. Like, death kind of used to be a big payoff for it. Now, it's like death just, like, is bad. It can, it can get killed a lot easier all right so let's regroup let's let's reconstitute this as kind of wanting just a normal good uh good stuff we can, kill, we can cut killmonger too really hope mobius gets to leave from the game yeah i wouldn't mind that either People are really liking Daredevil in this deck. I think Daredevil is probably just in a good spot right now in general. Finally have a Daredevil variant. Vision? Yeah, Vision is a great card. Oh. I could also go to just like Psylocke or something here. Take the wasp. Maybe Legion? What this chat? How does this look? Jeff? Jeff over Psylocke? There's an argument for it. I also think Jeff over Magento. I liked Magento though, in the, the most recent deck I used Magento in. I can do Jeff over Psylocke. Opposed. Eliath is good, but I don't know. I, don't, it's, I think Eliath, you have to be more choosy with where you use him now. Uh, I don't know. I just don't really... I, I don't feel too good playing that card. I use him sparingly. Legion with location spell. Oh, I do also need Thanos. It's a good point. <laughs> I do need to add the card himself in. Oh, what do I have to cut for that? It probably has to be Magento, huh? Yeah, this chair is so comfortable. I don't know if you guys heard, uh, if anyone was here earlier on Twitch, but I got a new chair. I went to Office Depot today and sat in every single office chair that they had, and I found my favorite. And it's been wonderful. What you play in Vegas? My favorite game is Blackjack. But my new favorite game... Give me a second here. There, there is a, a game, it's called Fortune Cup. 
Fortune Cup Horse Racing Vegas. Let me see if I can find a good picture of it. It is the perfect game to hang out with people and play in Vegas. And I, I will never, I will, I will argue to the nail to tell people this. So it's this little fake horse racing game. And it's got little toy horsies. So it's like eight different seats and you could sit around it and you could bet on these fake, fake horse racing games. And like all the different horses have different odds and it's like dollar minimum bet. So if people aren't really uh, if people aren't really like super interested in like spending a ton of money, uh, you can just play these games and like you get to like cheer on fake horses. Oh my gosh, dude, this is an absolute blast. Is Banks encouraging gambling? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, if you're going to Vegas and that's what you want to do, I'm encouraging that if you're going to gamble, this is what you should do. Rigged? Uh, every gambling game is, I hate to be the one to tell you this. Every gambling game is rigged against you. I hate to be the one that, I hate to be the one to break that to you. If you didn't know that yet. What determines which horse wins RNG? Yeah, it presets a bunch of like odds for each of the horses to win. And then like, based on like how likely they are to win, they, they kind of change things. You want to have a Vegas to buy the bears? Sure. Why not? You know this game because of BitLife? I don't know what BitLife is. What is BitLife? Uh, but we didn't win much money on that horse racing game, but it was, we played for about an hour and a half. I lost 40 bucks and it was the most fun I've had. The, it was most fun I had playing uh, games the entire time I was in Vegas, which to me is much more important. I'd rather play a game and lose that I enjoyed playing and I had a good time with the people around than like win and just be miserable. Blackjack is better. You're literally allowed to do whatever you want. It's kind of the coolest thing about being alive. Don't, don't shit on my breathing. If I wanted to be optimal, I simply wouldn't gamble. Hey chat, you guys know how it works. If ever, uh, if ever you have a new deck to test, first thing that's going to happen is that they are going to, uh, hmm, let me check something here. No, we're, we're straight, so I actually have to adjust this. I'm trying to figure out if I need to adjust my camera itself or this, but I think I have to adjust this. Say something. I don't really want to bask my hand. I don't particularly want to bask my hand. Yo, what's up, Chaos Pro? Yo, did you end up going, Chaos Pro? Because like, you never hit me up. I know that you you had said that you were planning on potentially doing it. Get some last thing so you can go to Twitch on. Yeah, I was I was kinda kinda wondering that. Encourage people to try the board game Ready Set Bet, which is a real-time horse betting game. Yeah, but then you don't get to see the little race horses run around the circle. Awesome on the trip. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Never fun. Dude, this bass is just, it's eating me alive, man. I just do this and then prof X. Can't imagine they beat this, right? Let me figure, figure things out with Magento after. Nico is indeed out, yeah. Got District X the first game, but uh, 
Hopefully we'll find her. Hopefully we'll find her soon. Mr. Fantastic. Uh, sure, what are you running for Nico, man? Teacher works really well. No, doesn't doesn't one of the things double health and give plus power and turn things into a demon? I don't think you can run it with C2, man. Don't like three of the effects break C2, like three of the seven effects. There's double, give the card plus two power, double this card. Yeah, like three or four of the effects break. Break it, right? I am Iron Man. Ooh, okay. Um Jeff beats us here, but they have to have it. Um Let's pull both of these left. It's actually really nice for us. Plus it loses four power, right? Uh, which can be important for Jeff reasons. Just run gold with it? I'm, I'm not implying that you can't run, win gold with the deck like that. I just, I personally, I don't think I would ever do that. Oh, we win. Nice. GG's. Very sneaky Legion play by the opponent, but we'll take four there. Victory. Wherever we played that Magenta, we won too, which is nice. Yeah, running a card like Nico in C3, I, f I feel like just makes it worse though, right? Because like while some of the effects can be nice, like blowing up, I guess you said you have X-23 in it, so maybe it's like a bit more specialized. I don't know, I feel like Nico, if like one of the effects breaks your deck, you can do it, but like three just seems seems tough, man. You skip the turns to play other cards when she's a tough spot to change locations. Yeah, I guess you, another location changer isn't too shabby. It'd be kind of nice. District 30. So many district decks. Long shot the dice game has wood horses. It's probably the best horse game. Long shot the dice game has wood horses. It's probably the best horse race game out there. That is. 23 helps you draw cards and gives you energy. It's nice. Um. This only affects lock draw for me, so I kind of want to keep this. Uh, but I think you still usually try and draw early with, with stone. I don't want to feed this through rock. Ah, uh, no. Let's use it. Just draw cards. I, I have to remember, when you're playing Thanos, you just want to draw cards early. Drawing cards early is pretty much always always your, your biggest want. To so go Daredevil on a lock draw into Mind Stone on the lock draw is very nice. This can actually give us some pro- No, because on, on three, we'll play the Ash Rider. We're actually fine. What, I rate it? Nico? I haven't played I haven't played the card a single time yet. <laughs> we will see. Um, I kind of like having my Lockjaw facing this Angela. Feels really good. Uh, the trip was really good, man. It was it was nice. I got to be like Dara, Dexter, Nina, Eggs, Paper. I said met Paper before. Got to meet a ton of people for the first time, which is really really nice. Some double Hala, it's spooky. Let's try to defend middle a little bit. I don't want this stuff to die. We don't have to go crazy, but at least sending one in is good. Okay, I didn't fight against it. 
Hey, Jeff. Uh, if they don't play middle here, we probably just Professor X middle. Depending on how much they play middle, maybe we don't. Winning another lane is not going to be easy, though. Yeah, paper is a paper with two R's on Twitch. They're really cool. Uh, but it's fun. Yeah, I saw O, oh, the Cirque du Soleil show. Uh, was absolutely, unbelievably incredible. Uh, spent two nights out to generally gambling with JJ Rolk. Uh, and a couple of his friends, which was an absolute blast. Yeah, Dex is awesome, man. I only got to see him for a few hours, but uh, it was nice, nice going to chat. Super, super cool. Man, winning another lane is going to be really hard. Winning another lane is going to be really tough. I feel like potential for Devil Dinosaur maybe we're okay, but X right, then move Jeff. A bad plan. Be giving them a free right. just never works right double dinosaur sometimes gives us some outs no matter where they go they just move their jeff also loki is pretty hard to beat with any deck unfortunately this is a nice big card we could maybe have been in like an okay position how's our canyon such a banger so true yeah anyone who's saying x right and then just jeff it they have a six card jeff check we would, we would just simply, we would just be simply giving up the game. Jeff Thanos, right? Uh, just like never wins, man. Like there's a chance that it wins, but they already have eight power there innately with moving their Jeff, which is almost certainly their play, right? And if it's not their play, then they probably have a play to win middle with the Jeff, like with a, like a claw or something like that. But. Yeah, it can't be the six parts. Okay, first time having Nico. Pog. After you play your next card, destroy it. Draw two cards. That seems insanely good. Uh, cool. Let's do that. Um, I want to snap on. That seems like it's such an insanely powerful turn one play. Plus, it'll make them think that I, I really care about Onslaught Citadel, which I do, but not that much. Spent four cash on Nico, and to be honest, she feels like Nico Midoru. Because she's mid. Tanks! Uh, any other stone would be nice, other than Soul Stone. I'll probably just blow up the Power Stone, to be honest, rather than the Soul Stone. Because it doesn't even draw a card.
Soulstone on Onset Citadel is quite nice. Get some funky Legion stuff. Love us a funky Legion play. do this vision into like legion somewhere try and win mojo world you kind of have to hope for another stone next draw how do you feel about elsa thinking she could lose one power on the buff and she'd still be strong yeah probably She just seems like an auto include right now. It's like you're kind of just throwing if you don't put her in your deck. We need to add a Sean or something to this deck, man. Like this is like the third giant angel I faced. I'm gonna do this. Move the vision right, Legion left. See if they maybe just like burst right to try and win Mojo World. But then the 11 power is just enough. See if they added 14 total power. It's a shit. They haven't managed more than 14 power right now. Huh? Not even close. Seeing more Elsa right now than you did in 2014. It's a pretty good joke. Spirits of Thera, Disney Force Marvel set to make Loki and Elsa super broken in the top meta decks. So when you Google Loki Elsa, it's not R23 or R34. It's interesting. It's interesting for sure. What do you think, chat? You think we're gonna go fourth? Fourth, uh. Elsa is the star of the show kind of deck? Fourth Elsa Kitty deck? We'll see. How about Sneak without Thanos? A completely unplayable garbage. I know that, of course, because I've been playing her for like seven minutes. I played her a single time. Yeah, I don't 
don't need a card draw. Also, Angela Mobius. Yeah, but that's not really bounce. Like, just having Kitty in a deck isn't a bounce deck. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, I do think Mobius slightly hurts the Beast versions of decks, but you can even just stop them. Yeah, Elsa isn't auto include just about everything. Your stream title suggests you found the best decks for Nico, and you expect the deck quality to up to that title. Well, you're in for a uh, treat, because it does. Ah, oh, it's a DC. I was wondering, I was like, what is going on, dude? This is ridiculous roping. And I do occasionally end up roping sometimes. Don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not uh not immune to doing it. I've drawn Nico exactly once and it was last game. Hopefully we'll make it twice here. Hopefully we'll make it twice here. Oh! 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 Alrighty then. Nico Werewolf gonna be fun. I think Werewolf by now is gonna suck ass. I think Werewolf by Night uh doesn't work with Elsa and thus won't be good. Didn't wanna save that stone? Nope. You should play out your draw stones as soon as you draw them, uh all the time. Uh, these are the words of a Lambie series. He's very good at the game. Much better than me. Back people are still playing Thanos Justifies the Souls and Earth. Oh, a little bit. Jason, thank you so much for coming to Big's fan. I appreciate you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like World by Night is like fine, but it's... I feel like people don't realize how clunky a card like that is going to be and how annoying it's going to be if there's any kind of like any kind of card that comes on your side you get any kind of like junk type situation happening to you it's just gonna be annoying as hell i also wish the card was going to be sick like that'd be that'd be awesome don't get me wrong can i stick this time stone oh there's only one stone to grab I might still just do this exact play though. Mindstorm coming in a hand loses a draw, but we'd like need space. I'd rather have the draw than a 1 1, I think. Open Knight is like silk. It's not like silk. I don't think it's that much like silk. It's, it's gonna be very annoying. Is fulfilled the invisible woman lane like a maniac? These are Luke's bar. That'll be fine. We can just Professor Exit. What's going on over here? 
Order? Ah, order indeed. If I get paid the big bucks, Twitch chat, or YouTube chat. your player next card give it plus two power I want to fight for left I don't know what's over here I think I probably have to fight for left Uh, Space with Thanos is probably better, huh? Damn it, just don't hit my dinosaur. And other targets on the field chat. <laughs> there are uh, 10 other targets on the field, by the way, that the opponent could have hit with that card. 10 other, 10 other targets, just in case you were caving track at home. There were 10 other targets that the opponent could have hit there. They chose to hit the only one that won them the game. Oof. That's disgusting. Just a bit. Just a bit. But, you know, that's what happens in Marvel Slam. Why wouldn't Gambit hit Dino? It's the only one that made sense for it to hit. Uh, if it was a sentient beating that said destroy your opponent's best card, that'd be one thing. This one's like you intentionally hit your Dino. That's fine. I think they were just popping off because they hit a ridiculous, ridiculous win. They knew it. They, they knew it was up. Bum, 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 bum. At your play your next card, replace the card's location. Yeah, we can get something better. Game with stream timing, so true. Arf, arf. Alright, Nico, what's in the box? Demon. It's pretty good. I think we'll stick with Jeff though. I don't think we need the demon play. You do like demon on power stone plus three power. Is that really popping off that much? I think I'd rather just get Jeff in the fray. Uh, that's fine. We just skip here. Double card, that's a good one. Arf. You can even do some funky Legion stuff. And we can't do it if we go need Legion side or this second. Hmm. Legion Ride is funny, but it can lead to some problems. 
Because they can just get their Morbius big, right? Let's just pop the Power Stone for cards. Nabula! Just draw our whole deck. Generally, generally pretty good. They don't play anything left. What's this, Dracula? Odok. Okay, Modok, they have five cards in their hand. Right? Or they have. F yeah, they have five cards in their hand. This goes to 12. This can be five. Eight, 12. We can actually tie it with uh, Legion right into like Blue Marvel right. And I think we could win total power if we do that. I'm fairly confident we can win total power. They don't have a. Um, So we go to 5, this gets to 10. We fill everything with rocks. And then we blue marvel all the rocks. So we get 6, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1. Six, wait, that's not even close. I'm completely wrong. I'm not even close. That's not even close to correct. I'm pretty sure. I think we only get 9. That's what we call a classic mistake. Now, if we had uh, Mind Stone, I think we're actually in an okay spot. Because we could add 18, which gets us to 25, which ties. And we would still lose Tiebreaker by just, just a single point there, eh? Yeah, we goofed on this Legion play. We should have done something else. Okay. For whatever reason, I was, like, counting rocks as having one power. Which isn't how the game works. Fun reminder to like the stream. Thank you. If we get to 500, we're going to get the Phoenix Force Dan Hip variant. So if you'd like to see me get the new Spotlight Cash Phoenix Force variant, like the dang stream. At 500, we will open it up. It's the only one they have. Chat baited. You're too, uh, you'd be Legion brain. No, I mean, I really like Legion plays there. I really, really like going for Legion there. I just, I, it's kind of silly for me to think that I could have beaten up that Mobius. Should have probably just moved it right and then been closer to try and fight off their, uh, their stuff. All right, just play Power Stone over there. Be your full-time job to remember people to like the stream. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, brother. Y'all remember when everyone thought that 5-8 Legion would be terrible? No shot, that's good enough. Oh, freaking shot, bro. Maybe Jeff. Hmm. Just play the dinosaur middle. Take care of the rest of what we have to do afterwards. It's always going to be able to beat the Nebula, even with the Jeff moving there. You're too good to stream only one platform? Yeah, Exclamation Point dual stream that's that, Bob. We'll, we'll, we'll be making changes, don't worry.
They're freaking out over Professor X right now, which is good because we don't have it. It's always good when they're uh, freaking out over things that don't matter. Your emotes? What about your emotes? Yeah, the Rock, jo Dwayne the Rock Johnson. It's not too shabby. What do we got here? They got their own dinosaur. Man, they were just gonna die to Professor X, huh? Uh, kind of comment. I kind of impressive. I wouldn't recommend it personally, but you know, you're allowed to do that. See, a couple plays you can make here. Jeff Middle Blarvel seems really nice. Plus six, right? We get to 16. They can never beat 16. They're fine. They've already used their dinosaur. Problem is, they might just not move their Jeff Middle. Jabba's right. This also buffs up our middle. If we just move our Jeff, they move their Jeff middle, we tie. But it's going to tie with both Jeffs. So I played Blue Marvel. Victory. Silly Goose. Also, if they play a bunch of cards and move their Jeff, I could potentially win left with this play. Orca, Orca beats us. We're okay with losing to fake cards. I feel like they should give Storm a power or two, then you don't understand how good Storm is. Storm is very strong. It doesn't need any power. It's consistently been one of the strongest cards in the whole game. Also necessary in this deck? Nope. It's just good in every single deck, probably pretty much in the whole game. A wave. That play used to Eliath, right? No one plays Eliath. I lost three power. And Blancy. Ooh, we lost our draw here. It's edge. Twenty-four turns and everybody's gonna be the dino. It's pretty close. It's a random Loki. The hub Loki. Jesus Christ. They should give Eliath and Galactus more power? Why not, dude? Let Chaos reign. Frick it. Frick it, we ball. Did you chat whack? It's not that whack. Now you lose, probably? We don't work on probabilities here. We live in the real world. MF are out here worrying about probabilities and shit. I didn't draw, I drew one stone that game. I drew exactly one stone this game, chat. I still have five of them in my deck. My guess is this vision moves mid and they play a big card left. Very hard for us to beat with stones in our deck. We'll just run. 
Factor should be a zero one thousand. So true. It'd be like, I, how's the card feeling so far? I haven't played the card enough, man. I've literally played the card I think three times the whole whole stream. I played the card three times in the first hour. I can't seem to draw it or the stones. The deck seems okay. I might have to cut some side of it. I'm not sure though. Maybe it doesn't even need Elsa, which is weird. What's up, Sko? You did miss the openings unless we get to 500 likes, so you can like the stream and be 1 240th of the way towards our uh, next Spotlight Cash opening. Elysium. Okay. Surely, surely our opponent doesn't run anything that that would, that would make this horrible for us, right? How'd you chain Ronin? Give him like two more power, maybe. Or one more power? Should start small. Okay, infinite energy game. We love an infinite energy game. Taking the flannel vibes? Thank you. You can see Adam fitting in here for extra draw. No, Adam Warlock is unplayable garbage. Bait in just about every deck. Legion of the Mojo World? We might. Oh, very lucky. I do think we are going to be Legioning the Mojo World, which should be uh, very strong. Ooh, don't want to do that. Thank you. Thank you, based Nico Animations. I really appreciate you, based Nico Animations, because I absolutely would have just killed my dinosaur had, had that not been the case. Thoughts on Twitch allowing multi stream again? Uh, just generally positive. Rare Twitch massive W. And more like isn't even good in Cerebro Zero. He's okay in Cerebro Zero. Man, I really hope they don't do any debris stuff to us in Phil Mojo World before we can make our play. That would be disappointing. Nice. I don't know what this Dr. Octopus is doing in their deck. Very weird. Let's do this and to move the Vision Legion. There was a multi-stream change, yeah. They announced that I could, you can multi-stream again, so I'm probably going to do it next week. Are you replacing for Elsa? Uh, yeah, Wasp is fine. Another six cost. I had Magento in the deck for a little bit. I am playing fantasy football this year. My main, my main league. I'm like four and two and doing pretty well. Chat. That's what I was scared of. Zola Doc Ock. 
crazy play. You're an athlete? Sure. Ten dollars is replaced for uh Heimdall, so true. Psycho deck build? Yeah, I wonder what the play is. They just want to have like the ghost spider doc ox stuff as like potential backup. Interesting play. Cool, cool deck by the opponent. Yeah, we really wanted to set up that Legion Mojo World play. I think it definitely won, but there was nothing we could do. I've not been watching the Rugby World Cup that much, no. I actually forgot it was actually going on until recently. It's nearly impossible to... Uh... I don't even know what I think about doing here. Snap immediately, get them to leave. I don't know, man. Dino Lamentus? Just Thanos Lamentus is awful. Uh, everything I do is from Game Chops, essentially. I can't even, like, set up a vision lane. I guess I can, right? Because the lockjaw just won't trigger. Go back to dual stream with Twitch's change. Uh, I expect my dual stream. Yeah, actually, I'll set it on a timer because I've gotten an asset a million times. thought that um I thought I thought that that would work it's pretty funny skip and last turn Legion Oscorp you you'd think that would work it's not Legion could be funny here uh if we get priority which we will not it could have been funny, but we don't have priority. This is the very tiny card. They always move the Nico middle. Yeah, if I had pri yeah, I was hoping that if I had prior, I could Legion set Fisk, but I only had one play. If I win, this is crazy. I no, no business winning this game. All right, we'll take it. Victory. No people were bugging, waiting for your stream today, but they must not remember your schedule shift. Who's bugging, waiting for my stream today? Big thought we forgot about saying Legion is trash. I've been very open about that. I'm very open about how myself and every other Snap creator thought that Legion was going to be trash. And pretty much everyone in the community thought Legion was going to be trash. But I was immediately saying that he's one of the best cards in the game. As were a lot of people, of course. They're really anxious for the stream. Why are people anxious? Why? Stop being anxious, weirdos. <laughs> Sounded a bit tired. It's almost as if I was in Vegas for a weekend. This game pay to win? Uh, every game is pay to win pretty much, right? Depends on what you mean. Will paying money get you better cards? Yes.
You ever played Death's Door? If I hadn't, you think you'd love it. What is Death's Door? I think I've heard of it. Thought you'd be streaming as soon as Nico dropped? Uh, there's no reason that you should have possibly thought that. Right now, feels more pain one because of the meta. Well, the best card in the game is the current season pass card, which you have to pay ten dollars to get. No Professor X middle. Nah, their deck runs Jeff. If they play Jeff left, then they just win. Now, if you save it for currencies, the only bad cards are good. I mean, right now, it's right. The last two seasons are probably the most pay to win it's felt because the two best cards are completely locked behind paywalls. So it feels more pay to win now than, than ever before. Even like certain people, uh, like the human spider, uh, went all through the Loki season without playing any Loki. And then uh, next week. Um, what do we got? They haven't hit their Jeff. We do just Professor X Middle now. They're gonna keep their two power though. Which is a bit scary. I'm guessing they're gonna try and hawk and then play into it, which is also scary. Just prof exit now. X left. Does that even work? I think we just lose the lane. We would just lose the lane on the board. Psycho. Do this. The other option is just to no. We should go right with it, huh? Ah, well, I'm just thinking they, they're not gonna play the kitty left. I don't think. I think they play this kitty right. We lose if they have Jeff mid, but I'm just assuming that they don't have Jeff mid here. I feel, because I feel like they would have played it by now. I kind of just want to do this and say that they're playing the kitty right. You go to 19, they have to play 7 or more power left. Soulstone left? We have to lose 11 power to play the Soulstone. We just lose on the board almost. There's a few ways you could go about it. We could go here, here, here. Here, here, here. This would bring us to four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. And then make them at pretty low starting point. Yeah, it's probably the better play. Let's see if they played the kitty left. Got it. I want a tie break. Such rough losses, man. Yeah, we should just kept the vision left. We have a better play. I talked out of it. What do you mean called it? Junior, not a weeb. <laughs> you, you were the one who helped push me towards the play that lost the game. <laughs> you called it. Yeah, I should have kept my play. Destiny 
This is a really good peek. Nico to destroy X23 breaks the game. Sure doesn't. Or just go Thanos left instead of trying to do a blue marble stuff. Yeah, there's there's definitely an argument for that too. Why wasn't X right an option there? I got the previous turn. I don't know. I should have thought about Professor X right. I don't have a good answer for you. Which usually means that uh I should have. I mean the game closed on Steam. Um Interesting. I've not heard of that yet. It's too stupid. Get the two. Do you get the card draw? Oh, this is the two X. Oh, they they all look the same. I, don't know, I guess they freaked me out. Oh, they have zero cost Taskmaster. I must have zero cost task. They pull Nico from Lockjaw as a random spell or the first one. There's no first spell. Having something to put through Latra has been just like ridiculous, dude. I haven't drawn a single stone this game outside of Soul Stone. I just have like nothing to do right now. I don't know, maybe I have to reassess the deck, but I, I feel like I'm just getting screwed by draw order and like not having access to any of my stones, like every single game. Like I don't really know how to play around just not having them. Twenty nine is enough middle. It did have the zero power taskmaster. Yeah, Potter played a weird game there. I feel like they snap back very confidently. I think we just need to get more games under our belt. Expect the nuts, they already used their Shuri. I just don't know why they used their Shuri on time. But also they weren't expecting to have triple discounts on the final turn. Destiny will arrive. Maybe just cut the lockjaw thing. Like the lockjaw thing just doesn't seem like it's giving us any payoff right now. Uh games have been not great so far, but like okay. 
I can't draw any of my stones or Nico any game. Uh, it's been frustrating. Outside of that, kind of fun. Yeah, cutting Lockjaw for like Sean actually seems very nice. Sean is Sean is felt important. Ah, oh, that's so great to get Lumeria on turn three on my very very important time stone play. And it sure would be a shame. It would be a shame if that did nothing. On the play where I have three five cost cards in my hand. Or Psylocke? Uh, yeah, I originally had Psylocke in for Jeff, but I switched it. got for me what you got what you got six cards in hand i think nico's gonna be a meta card no nah, she's a cool tool though she seems useful especially when you draw her I'm guessing devil dinosaur from the opponent would be my guess devil dinosaur middle would be my guess if i had to randomly guess their play or vision right. Is it Devil Dinosaur Middle? Blue Marvel Middle. I see I'm so smart and talented. Um Do this, but they likely have access to my Jeff to play left next turn. But if they had my Jeff, wouldn't they play it last turn? I feel like if they had my Jeff, they would have played it, right? I got a hard read they don't have my Jeff because they didn't play it, because they would have had access to it, right? Four plus one. I don't think they have my Jeff. Do I want more card draw? Kinda, yeah. On jet. No, I just don't think they have it. I think they would have played it last turn. I strongly think that they would have played it last turn had they had it. This gives us 14 extra middle. We get the 16. They have to play a pretty big card left. This might not be enough, man. This? Uh, any play left right wins. I think we have to go for this. It's gonna be sad if we lose, but we'll try for it. Huge. What about their own Jeff? They played Loki chat. They could have top decked it on five, but that's the only time. Oh, that was the correct I made the correct call. That was a nice one. Also, Nico it's bottom five card. Once again. Love to see it. Oh, dude, this chair is so comfortable, chat. I'm actually so... I'm actually like such a vibe right now. This chair is so incredibly comfortable. Space on left in case of Jeff. Okay. Dewboss was the one who used... Or were they the ones who used the Psycho Arnim Zola play against us? I think they were the Psycho Arnim Zola gamer, if I remember correctly. 
Is this the same chair from the Big Slot Cherry Streams? No, that one was fricked. That's why I was complaining about it all the time. Live from the Daily Bugle. I bought a brand new chair today and it's wonderful. And absolutely beautiful. This is the same gamer. I almost want to hold this multiple man, but I will not. Play him out. Three powers, three power. Oh yeah, we did. We did. That is that is pointable. It's fair. That is a pointable play. Are they gonna get Phoenix Force on curve with Asteroid M on me? That would just be insanely rude. Uh, yeah. Let's go first, and because if Nico, if we get Nico that destroys, I want it to destroy the Power Stone. If they got the Phoenix Horse and didn't play it right, they're they were wrong. Yeah, what are you doing? Wait, would it have worked? Or does it not because it's the multiple man? Do you guys know? Since it changes to two cost, it doesn't? That's interesting. Legion Asteroid M for them? Quite funny. I do get to see their turn five play, which is really nice. So I, I know if they snap to retreat or not. I have Pryo, right? Oh, this is wonderful. Hmm. I actually don't want to do that. Wait, I have to hold the Mind Stone for next turn. Because next turn I want to Mind Stone Dinosaur middle, potentially. I think I'm still losing, though. Is the problem. But this is very strong. Ooh, I want to fight for right. I do want to mind stone through middle. I do want to mind stone through middle, so then I could stone dinosaur next turn. And I could potentially get blue marble, which really helps me win. I was wrong about the lockjaw thing. But it's okay, we still want to fight for right. Because they can only have 12 there. Like, even if they add 10 more, I'm pretty sure this wins, right? We're adding 16. We get to 23. You're thinking like Taskmaster it or something? I guess I can't Taskmaster it. Is the soul stone better ever? They fill. Better just a soul stone. So they're mo they're gonna have three minimum, and this adds three. Yeah, this only hurts the Luke. Oh, don't don't fart. Okay. Don't fart. Don't you fart. Roar! Dude, Daredevil's been good, man. By the way, Liko bottom four cards once again. <laughs> I can't, dude. Uh, the last two, the last two um, 
The last two times I've done first card, like first decks with cards, it's just the card just never gets drawn. It's actually, actually ridiculous, dude. You told me earlier not to play a make believe card. Well, that's why we didn't play around it. I'm still scared of it sometimes. Whoa, what is going on here? I think it's like it's been slowly drifting all stream. <laughs> Knew the title was clickbait. What are you talking about, Andre? Were you, were you were you under the impression that uh, without having any practice with playing the card, I knew the exact best cards? Are you under the impression that anyone knows the best cards? It's a hundred percent win rate, though. That's a good point. You haven't seen Nico? Well, look at you're watching the best deck. Opponent's regular Thursday, potentially not early Thursday. We'll have to figure out if they are early Thursday or not. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how early their Thursday is. You just assumed Banks was an honest man who would never lie to you about having the optimal 12 card stack for Nico. I wish, man. Sick turn four play. It is an 18 card stack, that's a good point. Double stack left. Oh, those are good cards. Probably not smart play, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Big doves, never mind. So true. What if you were going to make a good play, but instead, fart? You know how Nico interacts with Mr. Sinister? How do you think it does? Probably that way. By the way, Nico bought him five cards again. Mindstone on one, always snap. This is the way. I like catching a stream, it's been a while. Well, hopefully, very soon, we'll be on the dual stream life. I do think next week I'll get everything set up with dual streaming. Uh, it's gonna be weird though, I'm gonna have to like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen with the extra channel. The extra channels are already kind of like, Missing a lot of stuff right now. It's still missing a bunch of shit from like the Binksathon.
We're going to get a 22 power vision. It's pretty good. Then we probably just like, I don't know, Legion Central Park or something. Watch this stream for 90 minutes or in fact, like we played Nico like three times. My opponent gets to draw their Nico and they have the hot Nico too. Why don't I get to have sexy Nico? This is bullshit. Are you excited? Who knows the play? What chair is it? I can tell you exactly what it is. It is a real space lenser. They're watching the stream. Why would they retreat there? Professor X mid? No, no, no. It's a much better play than that. Legion mid. Legion mid always fills all board spaces. I move the, uh... Uh, Legion, uh, Legion mid fills all board spaces because they play left. You scared of the time stone? I played that on three. Maybe they didn't have a good target for Shuri? I just don't understand leaving there. Like, I didn't even snap. I'll never quite understand people who just, like, leave games in the middle. I guess like there's certain times I have when I've had literally no shot or I'm playing a very weird niche combo deck, but Mind Stone on one, always snap. This is the way. They could have been scared of the 22 power vision. It was very good. Or maybe they didn't know how the Shuri worked or something. I don't know. I kind of like this play to be able to play then like Lockjaw Stone next turn. Usually you want to say Simetone Tape. Oh my gosh. Usually you want to save Time Stone for turn three, but I think this is a case where it's not too bad. Shabbos in deck, so I know the final draw I wouldn't win without Nimrod. Ah, that makes sense, Graham. Well, GG's to you, sir. We weren't going to win anyway, because I was going to Legion the Squirrel. I was going to Legion the Squirrels on you, so I don't think you were going to win no matter what. snapped always run here yeah, let's play it up maybe we'll even draw our Nico chat I think this is six games in a row we haven't drawn it seven games in a row maybe Next card, give it plus two power. Very interesting. I want to move anything. I don't think so. I 
Thoughts on Nico as a person, not as the card? I don't really have much say in that. I would say generally positive, arguably. She wears too much makeup? I think women are allowed to wear however much makeup makes them feel comfortable and beautiful. Based makes his base. I tend to prefer and wish that women had less socialized pressure to wear more makeup. Because I think in general women look uh, very, very nice without makeup a lot more than they give themselves credit for. But if a woman wants to wear a bunch of makeup, then you shouldn't have any opinion on it that much. You should try not to form any kind of overarching opinion about them. It's their life, you know? I don't know how I win. Maybe like this. Is this a shot? Send it. Have you ever watched the first season of The Runaways? Wow. I forgot that they had Ghost Spider Beast. Are the name one time? Um, if we move the vision right, we were close. We still didn't have it though. I always forget about uh, Ghost Spider Human Torch when people beast it. Nico was there that game. She showed up in a little bit of not the best spot. Will arrive. I don't need Nico in like the first four turns in this deck. Opponent snapped. I don't want to double time stone into like hopefully double prof X or double barbel. Dude, the Mary has been absolutely cucking me today, dude. You think they should revert Beast now that Mobius is around? Nah. Beast is still played just about as much as he ever was. That'd probably be a mistake if they did that. Man. Yes. I mean, double Lokis are going to go pretty crazy, right? card. Oh, come on. Don't get them. Dude, this Lumeria ruined everything, dude. Also, Professor XM, they're just going to play Hawk. The, the Lumeri on two ruined everything. If we, if we were able to have access to our time stone on Sinister London on two, we were fine. We just had like the only really terrible roll that we could have hit. You say Spider, Torch, last turn you get either waved or leeched? How long have you been seeing leech, man? They don't have Hawk? They not get it in hand in time? All 
systems go. What is going down down here? Can it can you guys see this in the bottom left? Do you see under the chat on the screen? There's just a card hiding out down here. What is this? It's a one, it's a zero, zero. Nico just on time is always so true. So true. Infinity. By the way, chat, we're at 322 likes. At 500 likes, we're gonna open up another spotlight cache and get our Phoenix Force Dan Hip variant. So if you're a Phoenix Force Dan Hip variant stan, like the stream. I would super appreciate it. I've yet to it's we've been on for almost two hours. I've yet to have a single game highlight with Nico in it. You drop that card and pick it up, man. Get quick. Muddying up my, my stream space, man. Yo, Dapper Beagle's a great name. Mine's on one. Always snap. Thought Nico would be gonna bounce when it's not been so much. I think I gave the card a 2 out of 10. I'm pretty confident. Jesus, dude. <laughs> Jesus, brother. I've got mindset on one more times than just Nico in general. Very true. Turn one torch turn one torch is fine. Turn one torch on Ant Maze is not fine. You guys feel like a snap card, too much stuff going on. Well, I like that they're adding cool stuff like that. Phoenix Force deck? Why do you have de why, do why do you want Deadpool to get recovered? Seems terrible. Hello, Mr. Thanos. Hope you're doing well. Legion scam? Legion scam one time? Maybe I should have reality stoned Avenger compound. I thought about it, but I definitely should have. I mean, so why are you not streaming on Twitch? Exclamation point schedule. That pool is the backup plan? That sounds like a terrible backup plan for this deck. I think the Shuri Nimrod stuff is a much better backup plan. You kind of have to like to start doing both those things on like turn one or turn two. I think it's a terrible idea, but we also might lose to it, so let's see. Case in point. I guess I can move things and play two cards. That's very nice.
do like this. 610 over 9. And then just win left. Seems great. The only thing we're scared of is like Jeff. We just go Legion left, Power Stone right. Another great play. Also, by the way, chat, in case you were keeping count, Nico bottom three again. Absolutely ridiculous. Neek no more like? So true. Oh, gold tone flare? Looking kind of nice. You want to see a Nico game? It might take like another hour or so. We'll see. You're playing an 18 card deck kind of. It's not how Thanos really works. Plus you have Shavas in the deck. Because we're adding all these draw cards, it doesn't really work out that way. Let's go Reality Stone mid. We'll try to attack Asgard with Lockjaw, I think. And we can't attack Asgard with Lockjaw anymore. <laughs> we can get another stone and we time stone Elsa on four. We can like stone vision on five seems really nice middle. We'll see what we can end up doing here. Bam, 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 bam. Second dinner employee, Patrick. Why don't we take all the Nikos and move them to the bottom of the deck? So true. I'm doing this because I really like the turn six Soulstone Vision middle. I feel like it puts us in a really good position to win the game. Especially because it doesn't look like they're attacking middle, right? Ooh, did they get the copy one? Oh, that's really good. Got a free seven power vision for Venom. Okay. So this turn, maybe we change it, but I really like Soulstone middle, Vision middle. It kind of is just like gives us our 11 power vision, which is one of the strongest things you can do with Elsa. I think we have three destruction triggers have gone down. Nico bottom six, by the way. So true. Maybe you don't want to run Chavez with Nico on the bottom of your deck. It is giving me an insane amount of consistency early on. I think Sabretooth in 2023, man. Wait, why did I think Sabretooth was there? Does Deadpool look like Sabretooth flipped up to that? I don't know. I don't have much of an answer to that. Oh, space stone. Ah, did you guys know that, that it doesn't work like that? Did anyone say that to me?
They would know that that works like that. I actually had no idea. Yeah, someone said lock on also feels kind of clunky, and I felt like that most of the game. I might just end up cutting the lock draw. It's like even knowing that that interaction doesn't work uh, feels even worse. That's super weird. It's really not actually. Lockjaw has always done that with it flips the card to the furthest on the top. You just have to understand how Nico or uh, Elsa works, but I just hadn't even thought about how that's the case. All right, let's let's adjust the deck a little bit. I think we're at the point where we can adjust it. It does suck. I wanted to give it some space to really see how the Nico stuff worked early, but it just, it, we just simply won't draw it. There's nothing we can do if we don't draw it. Um, my thoughts are Shang-Chi, uh, Rouge, essentially, Psylocke, I kind of like Psylocke, let's start with Psylocke. Let's do a Psylocke split. Let's get a lucky Psylocke split. Infinity. Interesting taste in the music. It's more interesting than uh, all your chatter comments. Boom Rosa. How many cash does it take to get Nico? Uh, I bought her with tokens and then got her sick variant. Yeah, guess exactly what the Psylocke will be, chat. Yo, the squirrel girl pissing on the wall. Let's go. Perfectly accurate anatomy Psylocke. Is it that bad? Posture like a candy cane? What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? I was kind of excited because I try and have very good posture. Then it says posture like a candy cane. And I don't I don't know what that means. Do candy canes have good posture? Oh yeah, yeah, a bit of a unrealistic expectation. Uh, Psylocke for sure. Goldie! Oh, Goldie with the purple Stardust? Yo, actual cracked variant? Actual incredibly banger split? Hunching over? Hunching over isn't what a candy cane looks like. Hunched over your keyboard. Have you guys seen a candy cane? A candy cane isn't like this. This is what hunching over your keyboard is. A candy cane is like this. Candy cane would be like, like, <laughs> excuse my language. A candy cane would be like sucking your own dick. <laughs> like, what does that mean, dude? Every woman must have a waist thinner than her neck. Yeah, you'd just be dead, dude. If you had posture like a candy cane, you'd literally die. Actually, I think I want to bring it to infinite. It's called hyperbole. Waylander, you must be really fun at parties. Using your neck in that art is impossibly thin. <laughs> that is true, but like it's the her waist is the size of a normal neck. 
and her neck is as thin as a, a finger. Says the part says the person picking apart the joke title. Wow. That's so that's so cool. Nice nice job, Waylander. Continue to be very fun at parties. Yes, having a having a funny, silly conversation making fun of how I don't understand what that means is something that would be fun to talk about at parties. Yes. Very correct. Candy K was your nickname in college? You used to suck your own cock? It was like a like a special thing. Tried Nico to destroy Cyril? I have not. I have not unfortunately I haven't had the time. Snap Discord is banning people for sexualizing cards? What does that mean? All right, well, now that we got our beautiful Psylocke Fairy in there. Two golds in a row, that one sucked ass though. I didn't pop off to it because it was gold. I always, I always get icky green that doesn't match things. Flexin, what's up? Hope you're doing well. Uh, I will time stone on one. Usually not the best to time stone one, but if I have no other drawing stone, usually that's what you want to do. I have to remember I'm not a lockjaw deck anymore. Especially now that we have Psylocke. Oh, I should have played Space Stone. That was a misplay. Make sure we play Space Stone. Si Okay, next time we play Widow's Bite, Space Stone Psylocke. Two draws at a good five cost, or we could just slam down a Thanos. Uh, wouldn't be, yeah, we could still make that work. Guessing we have a Darkhawk deck, so we want to draw as aggressively as possible. I actually don't want to get rid of Mindscape that much. I really don't care to get rid of Mindscape, I don't think. Wow. At least they have to stack their Dark Hawks on the same location. Unless they want to give me one. I'll see what card you have. You have to win a second lane, and I'm not giving them anything to win a second lane. Like if they just play Sila, like if they just play their other Dark Hawk here, like, am I scared that you have 50 power middle? You're giving me a Dark Hawk, which is pretty good. I guess they're fighting for right and left in a somewhat positive way. I also just aim to try and draw. I don't think I want to. Ah. No, because anything I draw, I just give it to them, right? I just play the Thanos. Just say whatever they give me is going to be better than Reality Stone, Power Stone, Soul Stone. Yeah, they gave me Rogue. Okay, well thank you for the free win. The cards they have, they probably have Shabbos in the deck. I would assume a lot of these Dark Hawk decks do. So we're always winning middle with the Rouge. We're already ahead, right? We're adding three, seven left. Get us up to 11. If they like Soul Stone, Other Stone, and play Power Stone right or something, they could have a chance. Let's put the odds a little bit.
Wow, they top deck man thing, dude. What an insane top deck. Perfect top deck for them. Super unlucky. Is one of our spells to be the bottom of the deck? It is actually getting like almost to the point where it's like statistically impossible. Destiny will arrive. I don't think we've st still gotten a single um, highlight with her. Snap. Oh, we snap on Mindstone on one. Not running Chavez and Darkhawk as wild. Some people still aren't Chavez believers, man. I just expected it to be Chavez. Chance I should be using a stone to draw there, but I kind of like getting my Daredevil down in a timely manner. Card. Pretty important there, uh, whole, whole situation. Play your next card, give it plus two power. Crystal, I'm in trouble. I'm really not. I promise you I'm not in trouble. Offer this double Nico and a Professor X good there. Problem with double Nico is that it just like leads to a lot of a lot of issues, I would say for me. I think I do this. If lands left, I just win on the spot. If lands right, pretty close to winning. Figure it out. Yeah, the only thing that I would lose on right would be like Mobia stuff, which is a bit scary. Wait, I forgot that they go first and they turn off Sinister London. That's something I probably should have thought about, eh? Still losing them two spaces to do any of their stuff. Hmm. 
This is Modok Hella. They have to get exactly like Iron Man Onslaught, I think, to win. We just uh, we just say that never happens. What did they get? Okay, Lad, Jiggy, Onslaught, Iron Man. If not. Iron Man pretty much always gets in the win. Ooh, it lands right. That's huge. We should be fine, but like Jiggy Infinite gets. Fuck you, dude. God damn it, man. Why do I even start talking in any of these fucking situations, chat? I like, I, I just should shut the fuck up. I should just shut the hell up whenever I start talking about stuff like this. It's so frustrating. I guess every other iteration still won. X Invisible Woman always. Yeah, here's the problem is that I messed up with the magic play. I forgot that the magic play turned off by Sinister London. I think I had I think I thought I had priority for some reason. Yeah. That was very frustrating. No, it's not true. I could've I should have won that game. Could have won that game and should have won that game. I know Nico on one. It's a damned miracle. Give me a second mind stone of all things. I kinda don't want to play the reality stone yet. Wanna play Kitty in the deck? Why the hell would I ever play Kitty in this deck? I don't think Kitty accomplishes anything in this deck. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. I'm fine with that, man. You can kill off your you know, kill off all these cards, I don't care. Professor X left. I mean, they could have Jeff stuff, but they have a lot of work to do to get to there. think we will. I am I'd be terrified of Thanos though. Roar! It's my day. Give me enough. Everything will be minus two. Nice. Victory. Chat, did you see that Nico play though? Move Dino Man. Yeah, Dino Man's probably good too. I was kind of trying to zag, you know? When everyone tries to zig, you zag. You know what I mean? Dino Man probably wins her though. It's probably what they were most afraid of. Nico setting everything up from turn one. Oh, it's pretty good when you draw it. 
If I was a Legion man, yeah, I could see Legion man. Kind of wanted to get the blue marble down a lot that turn though, for a potential uh, thing. So open spotlights, 500 likes. 500 likes. It's in your hands, not mine. Let's get a different color on our uh, chat. Purple? Purple's not good. Chat, I need you guys to chat really fast so I can I can adjust it properly. Start just saying a bunch of stuff in chat aggressively. Let's find a good color. Mm, pink's not too bad. Pink's okay. We can do better though. going it's freaking out it's not refreshing chat it's bad we haven't refreshed chat it won't refresh chat Chat, chat won't refresh, we broke it. Maybe it's just invisible. Oh, there we go. Holy, I was so scared. I was so scared, chat. That one's on purpose, though. A green again? What the hell? You just get a you get assigned a random color whenever you do YouTube. It doesn't make sense. We have blue marble chat. Never fear. Except we can't play anything left the next turn if we do this. Ah, you know what we do have though. An absolutely beautiful play. Ah, they can still move the Jeff. Whatever, it's still funny. Hulkbuster monster. Blue? Blue's not good. Run it. Red? I think red's okay. Red for YouTube. Yo, it's the opposite color of purple, so it'll look great in the eye. All right, you convinced me. We're going to keep going. Keep going down the line. Keep it moving. What about orange? Orange is close to yellow. It's like between yellow and red in many ways. Kitty variant sick? We did get the kitty variant. Ah, very interesting. You're gonna get 14 power monster chat. That's very scary. So you have to try and win the rest of the lanes. We use blue marvel. Uh vision was probably better there, right? Probably should use vision. Probably should use vision. Really, there's some kind of Deadpool deck, right? So I don't know if they have that much top end. 
Probably start here. All in right. We got enough? I think we got enough, chat. Let's go. We're so smart and talented. Also, Nico, bottom bottom four cards. Love to see it. Ow! The one thing about this new chair is that it moves a lot faster. There's maybe something I could do the wheels, but I, I don't expect the wheels to move so fast. So I move and then I hit my feet. And I cry. Nico is Chavez in many ways. He's acting how Chavez would work. She's definitely not beating the, uh, she said pod racing. Now this is pod racing. Destiny will arrive. Better than Elysium. Okay. Oh. Nico on one. This player is a one four. Don't have to wait around too much. How much do we like Elysium? It's like just kind of okay for us. Let's just get rid of it. Forge plus Nico plus Hulkbuster seems pretty broken. Probably not, but... It's probably good in the one in a thousand games that it hits. In no particular order, I'm among your top three favorite snap creators. Can you guess the other two? Well, if you're on YouTube... So I'm going to guess Cozy and Drewberry. Cozy and Dexter are very easy. Uh, you get Germa and Germer. Germa's cracked, dude. Cozy's right, the other one is Dexter. That was the safe bet. They are the two biggest creators. Why would you play that? Why would you play Craven in Miniaturized Lab? Seems like arguably the worst place to play. Your basic, you guess? Nothing wrong with uh, liking the best people or liking the most popular people. Favorite Snap streamer is Northern Line. So true. He's like a backpack battle streamer now, though. Regis is good. Regis is great. I've been following Regis for like a decade. I used to watch his Hearthstone reviews all the time. Setting up some kind of Heimdall play. I guess that they're setting up some some type of Heimdall Heimdall type situation. Heimdall. They Heimdall right, we're in trouble. I should have Legion, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, how did I need to set this up? 
I had to fight around this somehow. I don't know how though. This felt really off curve really early. Playing Mole for like a decade? OG Clash Royale slash Bloons Tower Defense player spotted. They did change the thing about dual streaming, yeah. Cozy was? That's pretty sweet. I wonder why Molt went back into doing it, because Molt didn't like re dual streaming before. Maybe more people are just testing the boundaries with it. Does Cozy use all DMCA free music? Remember chat, just play as many ulcers as possible and you will win. It's the Binks guarantee. Drake gave streamers permission to use his music. That's not how it works, my dude. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that on uh, YouTube. A lot of people don't understand that, but uh, YouTube, you, can't, you just can't use DMCA free music at all. You need a Nico tracker on stream? I don't want a depression, man. Opponent's gonna get close to keeping up here, lol. The joke is that, no they're not. It's not even going to get remotely close, chat. <laughs> 12 power, Jeff. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, brother. They're just letting us know that they have a Shadow King. Very kind of you. snap if you have Elsa cloning vats and then just play Elsa and cloning vats every single turn. Drake gave permission to Nick. You guys are just saying random people's names. Which card replaced Jeff? I don't know man. Figure it out. Deck's not doing all that well. I know in his YouTube videos he doesn't use any DMCA free stuff, but I don't know if his Twitch streams he does or not. A lot of people have to be worried about, uh, careful about stuff like that. Because you don't, you don't really think about it on, uh, Twitch streams. Donald Duck gave Obama permission to quack. <laughs> Donald gave Obama the quack pass? You know, turn five dino, pog. Nah, we probably wanna draw. Let's draw. So big the kitty will be? I mean, they have to pay a lot to get it like anywhere close to like all that scary big.
if we draw our prof x would be quite nice Thanks, they've been saying you sound like an owl. Who's they? Nick from the old NLSS. Ah, yes. Many people are saying he's in cahoots with Nick. Ooh, that helped them a lot. That accelerated things. That accelerated things to the point where I'm actually scared now. I was not scared privy. Gotta get double vision though. We'll be fine. Oh, is the joke that I say who has been saying it sound like an owl? Okay, so let's just lock this down. Let them play their like 40 power kitty here. And then just have it be locked down and then try and win with a dinosaur. Taskmaster and if they have Taskmaster at least we know it's ineffective. Hmm. 29? 29 is probably enough. Ah, they moved the collector. They moved everything right. Hmm. Well played. Missed our 50-50. Chang-Chi would have been good in this game? Not particularly. Maybe kind of helpful if we had known for sure that they were going to attack left with Kitty on five. You know about the NLSS? Yeah, I've been a Northern Lion fan for like a decade. Found the Venomized Armor variant in the shop, so did everyone. Old background with green craggle. Sounds gross. I don't even think that Venom... Uh, I mean, I'm happy that you have it, but and you like it, but I don't think the Venomized Armor looks like anything. Probably watch Goofball Goals together? Let's go. Cool. I remember Goofball Goals. What a weird game. Uh, Yeah, Exclamation Point Dual Stream 61. I feel like Sean would be a good inclusion in the deck. It's like, all right. We usually want to be time stoning or psylocking on five. We're on four and three, then playing a five cost on five. It's pretty hard to fit it in like on curve. Uh, it's probably like, okay though. I really like this. We're going to get a big vision early. Actually, we're gonna get a big Jeff. No, can we fit a big Jeff? We can't get a big Jeff in. It's okay. You hate this vision variant? It's okay, I didn't ask. Speaking of the NLSS, I saw Dumb Dog did his first YouTube stream yesterday. He's testing the dual string waters. Good for him. this who do we win right oh you killed all my cards you piece of crap that was awful one or two drop fuck you dude that was horribly bad. Let's 
still play vision. Turn off TV as Thanos. You're feeling pretty good in TV. Were you looking at my hand or no? Because if you're if you're like watching the game, you would know that that is not correct. Just generally, generally, I would recommend. I don't think I was in a good position at all to win uh, a TVA game. If I do this, I can't do this. That's gotta be a glitch, right? Is that a glitch, chat? Because if I move my Jeff middle, I should still be allowed to move these cards left. This has to be a glitch, right? It's really funky, I've never seen that before. I'm a little scared of Sean. I'm a bit scared of Sean, chat. I also want to do this. But I think that's wrong. Good dodge. hate this game, dude. Oh my god. The 50-50s are crushing my soul, bro. That's Rex would have won, by the way. Nico bottom three also, so true. The universe shall be set right. Basically New York at home, yeah. It's fine. One fours are pretty good. Many people are saying this. Side like Mindstone, very strong. Just one of those streams. Seems like a yeah. It's okay though. Feeling in a good spot. We got uh, Nico four power going against the uh, Nebula. Olympia. Moving Jeff for no reason. Dinosaur, I think. Start setting up for some Elsa stuff next turn. Go here. I really have too much Elsa stuff, though. Kind of sucks. 
I also just play a lot of setup, play a big setup turn this turn. Something like this. Scared of them like Professor X in middle though. of funky seems okay though I think this just beats Professor X right I think might that be Professor X and Jeff Surprise reality, it probably won't be that much of a surprise, but... Certainly take a shot at it. Nine. Our biggest card here is fine. We're adding a shit ton, right? Yeah, plus the dinosaur gets bigger. That's a great point. You already snapped. We snapped on turn one, right? They probably run here. They probably expect the limbo to be gone. They should expect the limbo to be gone, realistically. I actually had thought about the Legion Olympia, but it, it, it just works out really, really well with both turning off limbo and buffing the dinosaur, which are two things that we want. Yeah, good luck, mate. Now you just went with like a... Psycho, Psycho Galactus, right? Is the play? Slowly destroy, eh? Victory. Not sure what the, uh... Not sure exactly the game plan there, but we take those. Look at that, Nico, star of the show. Four power on one, easy wins. Look at that. more four cost card i never really play many four cost cards probably going for turn seven taskmaster i mean i guess against the thanos deck though you always expect them to turn off your limbo on six plus i played mindstone right like i don't know you should always be playing as if that's that's what's going to happen i think you're setting yourself up for failure in general Okay, probably some kind of Black Knight type deck. Go pretty hard left. Maybe not all in, but close. Um. 
Um, we could reality stone it. I think I'm actually inclined to reality stone it. They're going to get about the same because I think they're probably also going to do three here. So my thought is like maybe I can Professor X my way around it, but I'd rather keep my Elsa, I think. You are watching the Hannah Brandon Cam best last night? Yeah, that was, that was fun, man. We had a good time. This sucks. Whatever. We'll die in our sword here. Ah, oh, they're gonna let all of their cards die, huh? Alright. I don't know if I would have recommended that. Hope we can set a nice uh, Professor X right, ideally. You playing all day in hit deck? I could, yeah, for sure. Oof. Also, Jeff kind of just destroys everything we're trying to do. So people have just slowly turned this deck into like... <laughs> people just slowly turn this deck into like, uh, just an Elsa shell again. I guess that makes sense. Probably just run. Not too much reason to stick around this game. Free six is going to be really hard for us to beat. Now they didn't get any Black Knight value. So it might be a little bit light on ways that they can really attack us. Because their hell is empty. But I mean six power as well as whatever else they have is, is kind of just enough most of the time, right? Unless they go all in right, and then we beat them with this. Ah, oh, they had to go left because of Jiggy. GG's. They would have killed us either way with a life. Was it no? It was a random Eli It was a random Eliath and a real. Uh, it was a random Eliath and a real, real Jiggy. Back there running Elsa and Jeff and discard. Yeah, it's the Black Knight discard deck, which maybe it just makes sense to just run Elsa Jeff Vision in it. And they're better than just about everything. Okay, mine's one on one. We always snap. It's our rule. So enjoying snap every day. I am. I feel like if you uh, change up how you play, you play different decks very often. Uh, you don't confine yourself to just playing the me best meta decks and be okay with losing, then Snap's a wonderful game to play all the time. Plus, Maria Hill's meta now. Isn't that crazy? Uh, Asteroid M, we actually don't have any 3 or 4 cross cards, so it's much more annoying for them. Uh, let's go double card right. Get some draw going. Oh, it's a package just slightly over two. Yeah, the card's just broken. I mean, I think most most everyone most everyone agrees on that that front. I also like to get the surfer treatment plus three or plus two. I don't even think it'll be the surfer treatment because I imagine they're gonna keep her cost the same. Dude, they're gonna get my fucking Jeff, bro. They're gonna get my Jeff. 
I'm not even going to get my Jeff, but they're going to get my Jeff. Hopefully they move the Jeff right. The next over the air, they should nerf a while too to shake things up. Is the next over the air like next week or something? Or is it in two weeks? I think this is the long break, right? Would Elsa be more in line if they, she just bet the lane she's in? Eh, she'd probably be unplayable. There's too much counterplay if that happens. I think Elsa plus two is still just a really good card, honestly, which is crazy. You kind of down tonight? I was in Vegas all weekend, my dude. Just recovering. When you stay out degenerately gambling until the wee hours of the morning every single night catches up with you. Jeff, right? Nice! Shouldn't even beat their own blue marvel. Yeah, dude. They full gave left. You know, I was gonna play Power Stone left, but I didn't want to because of the Devil Dinosaur, and I figured there was no way they would completely throw left. Would you play Blackjack? Yeah, Blackjack, uh, tiny bit of roulette. A uh, tiny bit of just like video poker, video blackjack type stuff. Uh, I learned craps. We played on like kind of like a simulated craps table, which is fun. Let's do blackjack right. though. Boom, boom, boom. Play Pygon? I don't know what that is. Pygon. Or there's a different letter behind the heart that's in the YouTube stream for no reason. Pygon to kill time? I don't know what that is. They hit downtown Vegas? I don't know what that means. I went to Fremont Street, that area, and I went to the strip, like Bellagio, to, uh, that ends in Bellagio, like Las Vegas Boulevard. Try to top golf? Nah, I hate golf. Very bad at it. Also, the new card kind of acts like Chavez, never gets into your hand. Outside of that, when I play her, she's quite fun, though. Fremont is downtown? Then yes, I went to Fremont Street, one of the nights. I got was Pie Got Poker is really to kill time because most of the time we push. Interesting. I think even most golfers hate golf. No, people who like golf love golf. I disagree with that. I'm just really bad at it. I have terrible form. I had one of my really good friends was really good at golf back in college. And he took me down. Uh, I, don't, I think the zip line in Fremont, A, it costs an insane amount of money, and B, it's just like, it's like kind of cool, but it's like just like whimsy. I think it'd be like kind of interesting, but I'd rather spend my money on other things. Uh, we saw O, though, which is the Cirque du Soleil show. Which is probably the best live show I've ever seen. Uh, it is literally it, the the fat the things that the, those people could do didn't make sense. Hope that was an important card. Ooh, a daredevil for you, you piece. I think all these drawing cards has really uh, netted me a lot of positive things.
Hell not, people throw up on the zip line. I always walk right or left side of that area over the middle. Nah, it's fine. It would never happen. Yeah, O, o was crazy, man. Okay, Iron Lad is Jeff. Iron Lad is Jeff. Iron Lad is Jeff. Remember that Iron Lad is Jeff. Iron Lad is Jeff. I think we go Elsa Legion, right? Then fight for the other two lanes. There's Jeff. You guys like Elsa Legion, or Elsa Legion right, not left, sorry. I'm worrying about Werewolf by Night, cards like Nico, Sherry, and Forge. Will I, will I move? Uh, they move probably after their thing happens. Nice, they're gonna blow their load a little bit here. It's not Elsa. I would have much preferred to play Elsa there. That was stupid. That was stupid as hell of me. Shot over Legion? Nah, Legion's a great card. Where'd you stay? I stayed at Westgate. Uh, Westgate was really nice. Went to the Benny Hanna there. What else said I think we were winning this game probably. 15 is much harder for them to get over top of right. Basically hoping they throw right or left here. And all in on one of them. They attack both, we lose. Sniper? I mean, it is their name. Their name is Stream Sniper. If anyone's going to be a Stream Sniper, it's probably them. Yeah, the Elsa trigger here is really important. But there's also a chance that they were just looking at my stream it, no matter what I played. Deck looks good, but it's missing Dazzler. You're welcome to make the deck worse if you'd like. Uh, yeah, I saw the Sphere of Bun. I mean, you could see it, like, everywhere, but I didn't go inside. There's, like, an experience that you could buy tickets to that we were interested in, but it was Thursday night and Sunday night, and neither of those worked. Uh, on Friday or Saturday, we could have saw you too, but I don't... You two kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't know. Right. So Werewolf by Night, move versus move. And the Werewolf by Night just doesn't work with Elsa. It's not going to be meta unless Elsa gets nerfed. Werewolf by Night is going to be terrible unless Elsa gets nerfed. No one, no one will ever play it. So yeah, the forcing them on uh, on Apple. Well, if you if you hadn't had a shitty Apple phone, then you wouldn't have had to deal with it. So, anyways, it's kind of your fault. And I really wish I had Nico or any of the six stones in my hand. That'd be really sick, man. Escaped. Are you one of the people who start the YouTube argument? Who? Why would who's who argues about YouTube? Not even Hogsy, we're up by night. I mean, I'll try the card. I just think it'll be bad. One Nico out Thanos deck without Elsa for free to play, please. Nope. You're an adult, probably. You can figure it out yourself. I believe in you. Ah, with no name.
We just left mid game. That was. I, I had nothing to do. They also snapped. Why, why wouldn't I leave if they snapped? When you're on his apple, no problems. Uh, there's many problems when you think about it. NFL Defense U2 is not a bad band, but many people say they're bad. They're kind of stinky. Play nothing but Legion? Nah, oh, you can't do that. If you do nothing and then try and play Legion, people will beat you. You have to pretend like you're trying the whole game. That's the real sauce. Didn't expect that, maybe you're missing the vibe here. Uh, nah, you, you just caught me at a bad time. But I also don't just like build decks for people who just want to build decks then. Uh, I build my decks if you don't have the cards and stuff. You're welcome to play something else then. People don't dislike U2, they dislike Bono. Name us, like, what, I don't even, is there even a single U2 song other than Vertigo? I just don't care about them. Yeah, I don't like think that they're awful. I just, I feel like they had one good song and then they have just kind of like rode that coat, the coattails for that forever. They've just artificially been like pushed as like a big thing. gonna do legion to do our cool thing all systems go i'm gonna do a cool legion game chat maybe we should win tiebreaker though they probably have some kind of tech card right i have sean or something Simple farts. I think a tie them. First part is Vertigo is a new song for them. Vertigo came out 20 years ago, dude. What are you talking about? Didn't Vertigo come out in like the 20... <laughs> 2005? Three Beautiful day for wrestling fans? What happened for wrestling fans? Anything good? Nico split? I mean, it's not a split, it's just the variant. The variant is very nice. What does Nico do again? You haven't even seen her play it, I'm saying, man. If you're being serious, though, she has seven different effects. It is a spell book of sorts that you can swap through. YouTube has been around since the 80s. I literally have not seen like I chat. I've been playing for three hours. This is the first time I've seen this spell, legitimately. This is the first time I've seen this spell. In three hours, I've been playing this card. YouTube was huge in the late '80s and early '90s. I, what, do they have any songs? What songs did they have back then? I feel like I've never heard a U2 song other than Vertigo. What the hell? If you get a random Watu, you can't even see the right card anymore? Oh, is this trash? I'm gonna tell you, you look like Kyle Schwarber. Uh, nope. Kind of cool though. How does this work? 
It just doesn't trigger? I don't even know how this how this happens. You're not a YouTube fan, it just sounds like you missed that they have. Can you name a single one? No one has named a single one. No one has named a single YouTube song. <laughs> I'm, I just don't have, like what I what you <laughs> What happens? Will she double now? You will name Nolto Hitcher just like read them? Like what? Why didn't she gain power? Shouldn't she have gained power there? I'm very confused. With or without you, I do remember with or without with or without you. Okay, that song kind of slaps. I will, I will absolutely give you with or without you. That song slaps. Okay, one. New Year's Day, Where the Streets Have No Name. Desire. Sunday Bloody Sunday also kind of slaps. That's like that early 90s, late 80s vibe. Sunday Bloody Sunday. Okay, I'll give you that one. Elevation, fake song. And I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Okay. I'll give you that one as well. The song kind of slaps. Slam 11 power middle, call today. Play a fucking devil dinosaur. Can't believe you're making you defend you too. I'm not making you. In the name of love. Okay. YouTube is great. They're really nice and turn into Coldplay. Yeah, I, I do like a lot of these older songs. I, I can kind of dig the vibes of these older songs. I can I, I do dig like the early 2000s or early 90s, late 80s vibes of a lot of those songs that you've named. Uh, I don't really name Miller, but that's that's a good wreck. What do you think about just like this eventually? Like just eventually playing quadruple Elsa. I don't have to do it yet. But I have time. Let's do it now. Uh, yeah, I probably, nah, no, I couldn't have played Jeff there earlier, right? Because I would have just run out of space.
I don't know what I expected. I don't really know what I expected there, chat. Fart chat. Does lose the alpha buff. Yeah, very weird. Mr. Binks, uh, have you complained to SD yet about how they totally murdered your boy Baron Mordo uh, with Loki and MMM? Oh, well, Loki didn't do anything to Baron Mordo. But, uh, yeah, I have expressed my concerns about Mobius, uh, multiple times to Second Dinner. But, uh... They're, they're just vibing. I feel like I always get Soul and Power Stone. Yeah, it's just one of those nights where we've been getting very unlucky tonight. You just kind of have to accept it sometimes. Strong with Mobius, it's terrible for the game. It uh, basically makes dozens of cards uh, not worth it to play. Kind of kills like She Hulk and Sabretooth and. Just tons and tons of different cards that didn't need to get destroyed for a single card, in my opinion. I right, changed Mobius. Uh, just make so the problem with Mobius is that there's no cost to play him. He's a two-three. Two threes in Marvel Snap, there's no, there, there, you're not paying anything to play the card. It's basically just free. Because there's no cost whatsoever to play the card, because it's, it's premium stats as a two three. It's very easy to slot into just about every deck. But people, it's kind of like this Wax and Wayne right now, right? Because just people have just cut off every card that Mobius hurts. So now Mobius' play rate is going down, and then anytime any of those decks rise, the Mobius will just go up. I just think it's really bad for the game. Victory. Yeah, Mr. Negative. Use Rover Enchantress for MMM. Okay, here's the problem. Let's say I want to use a deck that has an energy cheating card, right? Let's say that energy cheating card is Sabu. I'm playing a 2-2 to get that energy cheat. My opponent plays Mobius as a 2-3. They have plus one power advantage. We've paid the same energy, right? I then play Rogue. I spend three energy to get two power to steal their MMM. I've now used five energy to get one more power than my opponent to be able to unlock my energy cheat. What is the point of doing all that instead of just not using energy cheat? There's certain decks that you can get away with that. But it's just like, it, you can't just say I just rogue or enchantress it because you're just, you're just going more and more negative against what your opponent can play because they didn't have to pay 
They didn't have to pay any cost. My rook would be uh, two one or three three. Those are my two reworks. Two one or three three is what the card should cost, in my opinion. You really need to listen to the Infinity Conquest world record hoarder? It's not the world record. I mean, Dara beat it, but. Ooh, Nico Mindstone. Quite nice. Definitely should be a 3 3. Yeah, I just don't. I, there's no cost to pay it, is the, the way that I describe it. Yeah, so in Rogues or Movies, it's like, alright, nice 3 2, the weirdo. Mr. Cage. It's pretty scary with Quantum Realm. She draws one. Oh, she draws two. She draws two. Thanos will be online if we want to. Let's do this and then try and Professor X left, I think. I also want to snap. I'm missing a draw, right? I'd rather just draw the rest of the stones. I'm okay with just drawing the rest of the stones. Next time we just Professor X left, almost always. You pay four energy for Enchantress, they pay four energy for Shuri. Yeah, it's tough. Why did it, why did that, what? Did you guys notice that? It, it made the energy thing un, like down here. It's so weird. Uh, I'm gonna scum snap here. Elsa is also too, too powerful too, too. Oh, I definitely agree. I think Elsa needs to be toned down. I think the meta that Elsa created at first is fine, but now it's just like, it's gotten to the point where it's like, why would you not run Elsa in any deck? And that's bad for the game when that happens. Your idea for Mobius make it two three opponent draws a card set it's energy to six. Thoughts? Sounds pretty cool. Now we just play the rest of the stones and Thanos, and then we profit. What do you guys think? Seems good, right? Uh, let's swap these. Mobius! Let's try you, punk. Behold my stone army. Logically, they do these pass cards to be strong. Problem is that the the two pass cards are arguably the two best strong cards in the game. And that is... Uh, that's probably over the limit of uh, what I would find to be healthy, personally. Uh, Nico was an absolute superstar that game, by the way. Nico was an absolute superstar that game. Being able to get two Mind Stones set up everything that I wanted to do. Oh, okay. You even said that in your whole thing, fl uh, Flailing Underground. I also agree that, like... The the season pass card should be should be very powerful and exciting. I certainly agree with that. 
And I think that's part of their design philosophy. I think they just went too far with the last two. They, they definitely just went too far with the last two. But they're, they're getting the balance down. I'm so happy about this chair. I, I, I know I've said this a million times already. But hot damn am I so happy that I bought this chair. It kind of ruined my day. It made me not be able to... Um, I chose to get a new chair instead of making the early Nico video that I usually do. Maybe only have Elsa affect one lane. Yeah, it should be kind of unplayable if you did that. I think having Elsa affect each lane once would be kind of cool. Like if Elsa's effect said once per lane, I think that'd be really cool. It's not a Herman Miller. It is a real space lenser high back chair. Uh, I went to office space today. I, I looked at every chair in office space. And I sat in every single chair and I love this chair. I actually not, no, no offense. They had her, they had a Hermie there. I actually, I actually like this better. I actually like this better than the Hermie that I sat in. They only had a size B, I think though. They only had a class B. Favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? Trap Master, because that has a funny name. Can you see which spell Nico played? Because I, I really don't like that. This happened a couple of times. Squishmallow is when retired, dude. The Squishmallow was like a band-aid, band-aid over a gaping wound, dude. Their card is so if you click it, you can't see it. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I decided the I'm a visual person. Is Mario stream scheduled? No. I'm. I want to do it this weekend, though. I think I'm gonna do it this weekend. So I'm gonna be busy one of the days this weekend. I'm gonna have a day where I hang out with my friends either Friday or Saturday and I think I'm gonna do it either Friday or Saturday no you can see so if you click it you see that it's gonna be the destroy destroy ad too it says it at the bottom it's actually very 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 nice see it this fine stinky You should have the Nico effect of Thanos so we can know what stones have been played. Yeah, there'd be there could, it would be really cool if there's like a little indicator where like he had like six stone slots or something. And they would light up. That'd be really nice. I mean I I can't play left. Like I, I cannot just shuffle garbage into my deck. I just have to simply not die. Fuck this game, dude. I fucking hate this game. God damn it, dude. Uh, dude, Hamburglus, you'd be surprised. That might have worked right after COVID, but now almost all of them have been bought up. I was, um, I was looking everywhere for one. I could not find one. I, I looked all through Craigslist and all through Marketplace, and the cheapest I could find a Type C was like 450. And the cheapest that I could find a, um, a type B was like 300, but a type B is probably too small for me. So we know if they don't play Vision or Jeff this turn, then we just win right for free. Uh, or Legion, I guess. They could also play Legion. They play Legion right this turn, I just lose. Let's see if they find that play. You gotta show me your cards, dude. It doesn't work like that.
You don't just get a snap. <laughs> you do have the vision. Damn. Um. The vision's tough. I can go vision for vision with him, right? Why am I playing a danger room? Uh, it's. I'm guessing you're reacting to when I played the Elsa there. You have to be. You just have to do it sometimes. I bet they now don't move the vision right. Still just dead though, right? Mm. Eleven. Okay. Possible moves. They move vision, right? I lose right and left, and I'm sad. They move vision middle, and big card left. I'm gonna guess that that's what they're gonna do. Taking a lot of time, Brill Thor. Wow, that was smart of them. I did get to land the reality stone. Part with no name? GG's. Smart play in the Legion. Uh, if I had done the play with Reality Stone Dinosaur, I still don't think I beat Vision Middle. If I go left, do I win? Reality Stone Dinosaur. Keep the Vision? I could have. Yeah, maybe I should have played around Legion right. I just thought they would play... Why didn't they play it last turn? Isn't it a free win last turn? Maybe they thought I had Reality Stone in hand? It's tough. Interesting why they wanted to play the Legion right the turn pre previously. Maybe they just didn't want me to see it, I guess. Would be the case. Destiny will arrive. Naps. Always snap on mine, on one. This is the way. No four cubes in our retreat. Yeah, it's probably it. I think we got to there. I played Mindstone right to play it again. Interesting. Okay. Kind of fricked that you would do that, but. Wow, 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 wow. This is just Reality Stone with extra steps, in many ways. the Nico out now. Did you like the Legion play? I did. I was surprised. I thought you were going to play it the turn prior. Uh, were you just trying to bait me? I'm guessing. Dude, Lumeria against my Time Stone has been such a, like a true combo, dude. It is actually insane. How often that has happened this game. Man, it would have been really cool if I could have played a uh, five cost card this turn. That would have been friggin' sick, dude.
It's not great. Yeah, what's up, Brave? Sorry you lost four cubes. Well, sorry you're never going to chat in here again, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> That could have been a, uh... That, that could have been a, uh, cold, that could have been a, uh, English as a second language thing, potentially. They, they could have not meant to be a mean weirdo there, but... I didn't give him the damn chance. I really wish I had Legion, man. Or Reality Stone. Nah, I don't think they'll fall for Blue Marvel. They'll be able to outpower. They'll be able to outpower out with me for sure. Did you like the Legion play? I mean, it's a cool play. I'm just guessing. I I really think that was probably a uh, that was probably a cultural difference of not knowing how snarky that came off. I'm trying to be more open, understand that, because I know I have a pretty large international audi audience. The shall be set right. I think playing Legion on Barth or on uh, on that that is very cool. Glad we made it home safe. Had a blast. I had a blast too, man. I had a blast too. I had too much fun, maybe. Still haven't decided yet if it was too much fun or not. snapped on me, huh? I gotta draw four cards. I like them apples, punk. When in Vegas, man. Genius play by the opponent. It's a rough night, we're all human, always good to have a self-reflective mindset. Yeah, I try, I try, I'm trying to be better and better with it. It's probably the hardest part of the job for me. Ooh. Alright, we're gonna bar with no name instead. Are we gonna get rid of Bar with No Name instead? I think. No, no, we just do all this and then we move everything left and then we do it, right? Oh, 100%. Then we move Jeff and Vision left and Legion left. 100%. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I've been, I've been trying, especially like I, the international thing is something I, I hadn't put much thought into. But there's someone who's like, they were previously ranked number one NA. Their name is Ghost Spider. They had said a couple of things that like kind of irked me the wrong way. So like I timed them out in my, my Twitch chat. And then someone said, hey, they're international. I don't think they meant it like that. And then like, I went back and reread everything they said. And it's like, they were just saying things matter of factly. But I feel like in, uh, oh, wait, this is kind of scary. Why are they playing left? Also, I'm kind of showing my hand, aren't I? I might be showing my hand a little bit, but I also don't think they can stop it.
And so after that, I've started to, um, I can even Legion and then Reality Stone, which is crazy. Uh, and then after that, I, tr I try and do that whenever, um, someone saying stuff that's really irked me the wrong way is just like try and look at it through the lens of someone who's maybe speaking English is not their first language and then try and work with it. Now they could have the absolutely sick Cosmo left play. What time is it in my country? A uh, little after two. Tonight is not my night. Holy. Is that the only location that lost? I also chat, I think my opponent's play lost to pass. Get uh, he'll get some some uh, he'll get some Twitch carb out of the situation or Twitter carb out of the situation. <sighs> it's one of them nights, man. Well, the odds, well, not only that, Next is a rare location, I think. I think Rex is, Next is in the second rarest bucket of locations. <sighs> you know, after, after something like that, you just gotta keep pushing forward. gonna be a rare two lost banks video yeah world trip was great i think it was only uh they even miss marvel me that's fine uh i think that was the only location that would have lost me the game can anyone think of a different location that won them the game I th i'm pretty sure it's just nexus I don't like your Legion play. Sorry, you lost cube, eight cubes. So true. <sighs> You're mobile now, but you need that clip. You can do the work for it. <laughs> Does someone want to get a nicely edited clip for my boy Brave? Yeah, even if I even Barman will name one. Like, there was no real reason for me to- I mean, the- the reality stone was just a little extra juice, you know?
Carnage. Wonder what the math happened. There's like 200 locations, and it was a rare one, so it's probably like 0.1% or something like that. I don't think I can let them bar sinister venom here. Maybe like half to Legion. I, we, I don't think we can get them access to bar sinister. I don't think I can. They're gonna Venom left, but this stops it, luckily. Or probably like, um... Deadpool Venom left, most likely. This at least stops this from being insane. This becomes very strong. It goes from... Absolutely insane to just very strong. I don't want to get the Elsa online, but I feel so finicky right now. Psycho. Psycho prof middle. You're gonna bless me with an edit? Oh, I'm just I'm just joshing. I'm just bants. Let's go psycho professor X left. Come on, girl. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, I can't beat their 24 power Deadpool in the way where it lands. If I was them, I would put it right. They have task we lose, but... It's fine. Death cost four, not a real card. Yeah, they test. GG's. I have fallen 1800 ranks tonight, chat. Pretty bad. So How are you? Be better if I was winning, man. I think I've been playing medium. I think the deck is medium. I think my luck is horrifically bad. I definitely can't say I've like been playing my best. I definitely can't say my deck is the best. I've been just like missing every 50 50. That Legion 16 cube uh, flip, the, the reality stone one was really bad. So, to you about the horse racing game, Vase, it's very fun. I recommend that to anyone who's not like super serious about gambling. Look at that. A bit of luck is a treat.
Boom, 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 boom. You're due for some good luck, chat. You just have to complain. Many people are saying this. It's like I usually try and be very open if uh, I think that I'm playing poorly, which is causing it, or if I think the deck is just bad and we're bashing our head against it. But I don't think either is necessarily the case here. I try and be like very honest and like uh, trying to have a, a good objective look at like how I've been playing. I'm like, I've been retreating pretty well. I haven't been playing too fast and loose, like doing too many stupid things. I need to play around Eliath better. That's probably the biggest thing. Th that's been the biggest thing that I've lost cubes to is not respecting Eliath. I don't have Mindstone on one, what a cheater. We could go like Time Stone Psylocke though. We do some weird like Professor X Power Stone type stuff. Played this guy before? I played Citizen Zero a bunch. I have one stone left in the deck. I wouldn't want to give my opponent the easiest uh, Professor X. At least Jeff can cause some issues. Green Dimension sucks. Maybe I turn that off instead of Mind Stone. Yeah, it sucks for them too though, right? No, I'd rather have access to the rest of my stones. I just go stone Jeff next turn, it's not that big of a deal. Play their other stone. They haven't played space, right? So they can't go Thanos. Dinosaur will be 13. There's most likely 15, depending on how many cards they play. I feel like we're so behind. I guess, wait, this should tie, right? Because we, we'll go to 13. It'll be actually be 14 and 2 and 16. And if they go down 2, we'll be tied. I think we can do this. Should beat them just playing one big card. A lot of cards. All depends on how big this one is. One power, it's be Power Stone. Fuck you. This, this is what's been happening all night. It's like exactly games like this, I feel. The rest of the games have not been good, B-Dog. Not been good. It's not been great. But yeah, per, uh, where's the game? And yeah, I was talking about the horse racing game. I think it's like... As far as gambling goes, it's nice because it's a $1 minimum. So like anytime you like go to the tables and stuff, especially in Vegas, like usually you're paying $10 per game. So especially if you're with there with people who aren't trying to like gamba hard. 
There's no reason to play this, right? Give me a hug. It's it's not that serious, Doom Doom Turkey 83. I appreciate it. It's not it's not that it's not that big of a deal, you know. Uh, right now I'm getting paid to play a video game online. There's a lot worse things that could be happening in the world. It's so fun when your horsemen. Supposed to be with, like we would like set up all these like we had like established storylines and stuff. Oh, god, the Nico would have been so good now. Fuck, dude. I can't. I can't play it. I can't play the bite. Can't do it. After your snap, well, it's been a year and a half because I played all through beta. Uh, which card release is most dis difficult to make content for? What one has been the most difficult to make content for? I don't know. I don't know if there has really been any that have been so awful to make content for. Uh, we just do this into vision middle. Ooh, maybe I should have moved the Jeff or something. I don't know. That should be their only disruption card. Oh, dude, Debris Wright actually complete. Fuck. That one's me. That one's on me. I'll take that one. No, I could still move Jeff. I'm fine. Never mind, chat. Uh, we're totally okay. We're, as a matter of fact, we're so back, even. I just need you to play like a zero power card left. <laughs> that Nico was really bad though. I completely forgot about this this thing. Debris? Dr. Pogtopus. The moose ball is the least useful on average. Yeah. Craps are your favorite as long as you're the shooter. We had one good run of craps, Brave, and then everything else went to shit. Everything else was awful after that first run that we had. Where you didn't even wink that much on the first run because you kept betting against yourself. But no, Brave, there's this little horsey game. There's a little horsey game and it's like eight or ten spots around and you bet on like fake little horses and they're like little toy horses. So you can bet on them and then they're like little little toy horse guys and then they run around the track. And then each of them have different odds and the odds change and the names change. And you can bet on like one horse or two horses and stuff like that. But this is this is my new this is the only way I want to gamble from now on. It's the best race. It's the best gambling game I've ever played. It, it was very fun, yeah. You start making up, like, storylines about the horses. Like, I just went on all in on Team Horse 5. I just felt Horse 5 was, like, hot. And then I had a couple big, big hits betting on Horse 5. Just because it always been just kind of the, the best one. All 
All right, mine's still on one. You always snap. Irish games look like it would be rigged. Uh, I mean, as as would any slot machine or any game like that, right? If you wanted to be optimal, you just don't gamble. Trying to have fun. Come on out, man. Come on out. Was well, some fun. Legion's fine. Not that mad about losing Legion. Not stoked on it, but first things could happen. Uh, Elsa best draw here. Bullstone's fine. Let's do this. Sorry to tell you, but you won't be able to play the game anymore. They put all the toy horses down if you left. It's fucked up, dude. Don't lie to me. You know that's not true. They don't have the gall to go to Hollow, dude. They don't have the gall. I don't believe for a fucking second you have the gall to face me in Hollow. You little bitch. Do you like that call out chat? Shuri. Oh no. Shuri's one of the only things that can really get me here. Because I'm going to have a hard time winning right. I need dinosaur. I think I need to play Reality Stone for Dinosaur or Elsa. Change the location next turn. Stop Shuri. It does not. No. I think I have to try and get the Dinosaur. I think this is just optimal, as stupid as it looks. Could be, uh... Oh! <laughs> it's cracked. sure about that damn what a risk man Victory. Nico double power she doubles her own power not the next cards she does not she does not become a one power Shuri as uh, as ridiculous as that would be Not a big gambler, probably your biggest weakness playing snap. Yeah, it takes a while. Oh, what's up, Citizen Zero? GG's, by the way. Uh, yeah, Citizen Zero, that Dino versus Dino right game, that, uh, I've just had so many games like that in a row, I felt like. Change your location? If the locations move, if they swap side to side they will it will mess with, mess with that always snap on turn one with mindstone as a matter of fact we, we will draw four cards with nico i'm very game for that major replacements any other powerful five cost that's pretty fast and loose Look at how much card draw I have right now, chat. You didn't finish Vegas well? No, I also did not. It all start it all started after after our first run of craps. After I started rolling in craps, it all went downhill from there. All went downhill from there.
We're going to have a bunch of double dinosaurs. That's pretty cool. All we know about their deck is that they have Invisible Woman. It's the extent of my knowledge. If they magic though, we could have a pretty crazy, uh, crazy game on our hands. Maybe I should have doubled up on the dinosaur middle. Do we just assume that our opponent is a Hella Modoc player and they have the nuts? At least out of nowhere. Imagine that. Wow, they even got the Iron Lad Crystal chat. Absolutely absurd. They even got the Iron Lad Crystal, dude. Extra three power. Bum, bum, bum. Really sure you got to play the legendary Ben Brode yesterday? Was his name he fist bumped you right away? Eh, there's a lot of imposters, but it could be. got Nico to 16 by using the self buff in Shuri's lab. Very cool. They really cheated. Very true. You can't stop a cheater sometimes in this game though. Just have to accept it. Savage Lance isn't too bad. Could actually be quite good with uh, Legion. We do it at the right time. This hand is just way too familiar to me right now, man. All of my big, all of my big five drop stuff, none of my stones or anything to actually unlock my deck. They say cheaters never win. They also say if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Cool and fun card. Bonnie's for with interest, pretty big into football. Not too much outside of that. What do you think of Nico so far? Uh, I would tell you if I drew or ever.
I think that's also another really annoying thing about uh, Mobius is like, just like certain locations, it's just an auto win. One fun card. Do you ever think they should make player names unique for everyone? Um, I think that would be fine. But you'd kind of miss out on like a lot of things that you might want to do. I don't care about it too much. It does suck. I do get tagged on Twitter almost every single day. Someone who played someone who's not me thinking they played me. Uh, but I think that in general, that would be kind of cool. We can swap out our better hand. Okay, they have to blow up their next card to draw two. Right move, the worst one. Awesome. Yeah, I don't need any stones that draw cards. Most people say when you play Thanos, you really don't want to get the stones that draw cards. I feel like a lot of people kind of say that and agree with it. Yeah, we were 20 most of that game, though. Let's see, what did they blow up? That shirt is my color palette. The you like the you like the gray, the orange. I don't have too much orange stuff. I do like it. It's very fall feeling. I feel very spooky. Looks like we should be able to get this game off. Ideally, what do they do over there on the left. Is that a profex? Oh, they thought they had Elsa. <laughs> Dude, how often do you guys do this? I do this shit all the time. Uh, actually, we'll go left for the vision. Win all three lanes profit. You guys do that a lot? Where you, you make a play as if you have Elsa, even though you don't? This is nice because it beats vision by itself middle. Or at least ties it. And we should win total power. Or well ahead this game. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do DJ Kang for Halloween. I'm going to do a DJ Kang set. Yo, you like the Groot shirt? I'm glad you like the Groot shirt. I'm very, very happy with that purchase. It was really cheap, too. It was only like 30 bucks. And it was like super nice material. And they only had one size and it fit me perfectly. It was literally the last shirt. I was Legion in this over Lyoth. I just don't think I would put a Lyoth in this deck. More of a flex control style deck. I just don't like playing Legion all that much, to be honest. Oh, we needed that casserole. Oh, it wasn't a casserole. We needed that win, though. That one felt good. Alright, we'll probably do one more YouTube worthy game. I don't even know when my next YouTube video is going to come out, though. Oh, you have the baby Groot on your mic. Oh, I have seen the baby Groot that's on your mic stand. Just a little guy. The universe shall be set right. <laughs> you have to check your board. Yeah, sometimes you just have to check, man. 
Uh, I kind of want to... Uh, I like flying space on an altar. We have so many things that move, I don't think we worry about it. I don't even get to see what it was in time. Ooh, very nice. Double Elsa game. We do this, this into Elsa, into Elsa Jeff. Into Vision. Sneak up worth four caches? Uh, I don't know, man. No one knows. Thank you, Bray. That's very kind of you. I'm glad that you enjoyed the shirt. I also enjoyed it. Not me having to play all of the Elsas into Danger Room now. This is fine. I shouldn't have played the time stone there. I should have played it left. That was a misplay. But if we're going to get a little bit of luck, the time stone will blow up and the Elsa will stay alive. We get a little bit of luck as a, as a treat. Just did this. Oh, we should not do that. Dinosaur is going to be tiny as hell, dude. The fuck do I do here? as a treat. I have so much work to do to win. Two so drops are never coming back. Do you work at second dinner? It's pretty sweet. Yeah, what's up, Gresh? Victory. Never mind, I take back my what's up. It goes a versatile card and at one cost, easy enough to try on a lot of lists. Drew drop on back, she's an easy pick at 3k. It just depends, man. Pretty hard to slot in over like I just don't think she'll ever be like the best choice in a deck. But if you're a deck builder, it's a lot of fun. But she doesn't seem like a card that'll be like, dude, I haven't seen Brood in so long.
Bum, 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 bum. Oh, cheers, Brave. It was good hanging out, man. Thanks for hanging. I really like a Legion here. Legion would be so nice. Or any stone that draw a card that I have four of in my deck. That works. She's a Nico with a bounce deck. I just think she's like, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be hard to like uh, argue that Nico's better than other choices. Maybe she's better than Iceman right now. While Mobius is still very, very good. But I feel like once Mobius kind of goes away, pretty hard to justify it over like Iceman. I don't know. Surely we're fine here. Victory. Oh, we needed that one. Oh, we needed that one. Holy. Is there an advantage to playing reality over Mindstone? Uh, chaos. Mostly. A little bit of chaos. Do you have an idea your win rate with this deck? 100%. 100% win rate. That was at 4 hours and 20 minutes into the stream. Pog. Oh, dude, chat. My legs feel so much better, man. Very happy with my chair purchase. All right, we're going to finish up stream today. This might be the last... Uh, like last dedicated YouTube stream in a really long time. Uh, we're going to start setting up things to switch over to dual streaming. We will uh, get that set up for next week. Most likely I'll probably keep things the same. Uh, but if I can get it set up like tomorrow, maybe I'll try. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll have to set up a bunch of things on like the YouTube side be, to like to explain why I don't talk to YouTube as much and that Twitch chat can't see you. Even though YouTube chat will be able to see Twitch chat, Twitch chat won't be able to see YouTube chat. It'll be a little bit funky. But uh, we'll work through it together as, as one does. Wrong here. Uh, if you guys are looking for someone to hang out with, try a Lamy series. A cool dude. 
very good at the game, much better than me. Uh, we'll see you soon. Goodbye.